next step, we're going to have to pin this to the backing fleece. Now make sure when you're putting it to your backing fleece, you've got the fleece the right way up. As you can see on this fleece, one side is slightly brighter than the other. This is a bit more pale than this side. So I'm just going to take this and pin it right side up to um, right side down. Okay. So you will have your inner core on top of your pad. Make sure you do that. And then line them up. Sometimes you have to trim them a bit to get them perfectly in line. Up to the right bit. And then you're going to pin them. So pin at the top. Pin on the wing. Pin at the top. Make sure the needles are all going in the same direction. And then pin on the wing. Now I'm going to pin the same side of the wing, uh, top side or both sides, because I'm going to start my stitching here. So pin through there. Okay. So it's all pinned together now. Now if you're a real beginner, you might want to go around with a pencil and lightly draw a line that you want to follow. However, I'm not going to do that because I'm used to sewing. Okay, so now I'm going to sew this. And I'm going to start from this wing. I'm going to start just here. So make sure my needles up. Put this in. Okay, now I'm going to put my needle down. And now this is where my back stitch comes in. So right over here, this bottle, I'm going to hold this down whilst I'm sewing this, okay? And you will see. I'll tell you when I release it. So I'm going to hold that down. Because it's stitching back, and now I've just released it. And now it's stitched forward again. Okay, I'm going to lift this up with my foot, but you'll need to do it by the handle at the back. I'm just going to stitch around now. No need to go far, you can just go at your own pace. Now, if you get to a corner like this and you're new, I would recommend you lift up your presser foot, how you do it, and just turn it a little bit. Pull the pin out so you don't go over that. Lift it up, just move it around a little bit more. Now make sure your fabrics are lined up well. I haven't done it very well on here, but you don't want to go off the edge on this. Now, this corner is really difficult. If you have a basic sewing machine, don't go too close to the corner because you'll find that when you start sewing this is just going to pull off to the side. Now I have a walking foot, so this will pull the fabric through for me very well see like that but if you don't have a walking foot I very much recommend you either curve the corners or you are very careful lift up the press foot slide it through a little bit push it down it's quite a complicated thing but you can do it with a rounded corner very easily now I've got to the other corner pay attention to where you started I just started down here so I'm only going to go a little bit forward again this is the corner so try and knit round if you don't have a walking foot go forward a little bit then I'm going to hold down my other button which makes it go back back and then I'm going to cut it okay so it's all out like that okay so the next step is we're going to trim the excess fabric off now the first thing to do is whenever you have a corner always cut the fabric off like that go back here like that this is so when you turn it inside out it doesn't bunch up and creates a nice sort of angle to it and again with some of the corners you might want to go in and just snip a little triangle shape like that. You can see this little triangle shape out of that. That just allows us so when you turn them inside out they can fold in a bit on themselves. It makes the edge look a little bit neater. Now when you get to this corner where you turned, where you're going to turn top stitch your pad, make sure you don't cut off this bit. Go to the end, snip, and go. But you want to leave this tab here. Tab there. Okay, so now we're all trimmed, and I'm just going to flip the pad right side out. So I was just trying to gently maneuver this in. I didn't leave myself a very big hole, but uh, I should just about fit this through. Don't worry too much about the corners, just get these bits out. Okay, biggest tip, blunt pair of scissors at the end. Put them into the hole. Don't forget to do the corner where you turned it. Sometimes a lot of people tend to forget that. Go up, just kind of push these out. Make sure your scissors are closed or you're going to go through the fabric. And with the corners, you can just kind of poke them out like that. There we go. Nice and 
nice put out shape. Okay, so the first thing you'll notice is this edge here where you turn your stitch. What I always do with this is just fold them in on themselves, just like that. Just make sure it's all folded in. Can be quite difficult and fiddly to do this bit, just warning you. Once you've got it. Now you can either choose to pin this or I just go straight off into it. So on that stitch, sorry, on that line, I lift up my presser foot, place this under, and put my needle down, and I'm just going to stitch along the edge of this. I'm going to be very careful and go quite close to the edge to make sure I catch this cotton. Okay. Now again, if you're new, don't go too close to the edge here, because this doesn't like to pull through. Now you'll notice as you're going that the fleece will actually pull around to the cotton side. Don't worry about that, you'll, it will still work very fine. Sorry, it will still work very well. And um, it's just a matter of aesthetics. Okay, now when you get to the beginning, you might want to, if you don't have the machine that goes like this, I mean, that's it. You might want to just go back and forth over that once or twice, just to make sure this stitch is finished. And there's your pad, all top stitched and finished. Okay, so you'll probably have a little bit of thread on wherever you stitch this. So all you want to do is cut that little bit of thread off, like that, and then grab this one. That's on both sides. I just cut that off. Okay, and the finishing touch to this is to put the snaps on. I've only just realised looking at this, this has turned out a lot like fig leaves pads. That wasn't intentional, I should just mention. Right, so this pad is going off to Africa. So it's using these white cam snaps. Now you can just make a buttonhole with your machine and sew a button on here so that they fit round like that. Or you can use cam snaps like I'm going to show you now, or you can actually just sew a popper on by hand. But if you have a cam snap machine, this is how you do it. So you take your little pokey thing, and you will also need your cam snap pliers for this. So I'm just going to fold these, measure where I'm going to need the snap, which is quite close to the ends here. So I always do, where I can feel the little bunch up, that's where I'm going to have the one going on the bottom. So that's going to have this snap cap on it. So I always poke from fleece to cotton, like that, and poke it through. See, it's now gone straight through the fabric, poke it through a bit more, just to make sure it's opened up nicely. Then press it down, and I take a cap. Now, the cap goes through to the fleece side in the back, through to the cotton, so you can see that prong has come right through. Then I take the other cap. This is what we call a socket. And I'm going to give these a really good squeeze, take that off, and now that has been pushed in. Next one, I'm going to fold that over, see, yeah, right on the edge there. Now again, poke from fleece, hang on, I'm going to put this camera down a bit. Poke from fleece through to cotton. The reason for this is the fleece is stretchy and it has a tendency to move. Okay, now this time we're going to go for the cap, like this, from cotton to fleece. Okay, and then I'm going to take the cap. Or the grommet as we call it. Squeeze. And there you go. That's in. And now, your pad should snap together. She says that and of course I can't do it now. There we go. And there you are. There is your reusable cloth menstrual pad. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed my video on how to make a cloth menstrual pad by hand. You can also use, um, as I said before, flannel, minky, it doesn't really, there's lots of different fabrics you can use on here. Bamboo velour, cotton velour, many types. Uh, for the inner core, you can also use, as well as Zorb, I just showed you a Zorb today because it's quite a simple fabric to sew once you can get hold of it. Um, it's just a man-made fiber, it's just man-made of lots of fibers pushed together. Uh, with Zorb you will need to pre-wash it, but you need to pre-wash all your pads and obviously to get this 
uh, drawing the lines you drew out on to begin with, you'll need to take them out. And to do that, you will need to wash it, and that will also prepare the zork for you. I recommend you wash it on about a 30 degree wash. You can just throw it in with your normal laundry. Um, for As far as cords go, you can also use bamboo fleece. You can use an old towel, terry toweling. There's many different things. The only thing I'd recommend you don't use is cotton batting. There's just, uh, they just, it's just a fabric that some people are funny on. You can use hemp fleece. You know, there's many different things you can use. Um, the snaps, as I said before, you can use cam snaps like this has got, or you can use, uh, if you haven't got any snaps to begin with, just a safety pin to pin them to your underwear. But uh, as this is going to Africa, I thought I'd show you with the snaps. Uh, you can also use Velcro as well. So that is how you make it. Always use fleece on the back, though, uh, and don't use micro fleece unless you're using PUL. PUL, micro fleece, that's fine. But try and use an anti pill fleece, um, which is also a polar fleece. So you can use that. So like I said before, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you'd like me to do a video on how to make a fitted cloth nappy and a fitted nappy cover, you know, a PUL cover, then please comment down below because my mum will do it, but only if I get a lot of interest in that. So if you'd like to see me do a sewing video on how to make that with a sewing machine, please comment down below and uh, hopefully she'll buy me the materials for that. So uh, thanks for watching guys, please subscribe and I will talk to you later. Bye bye.